Hey everybody, it's Tim from God, Guns, and Good Times. Hey guys, one of my Twitter followers uh, who comments on a lot of my videos and whatnot sent me a cool little product here for me to try uh, and give uh, him my opinion about it. And it is the Universal Boresight. Uh, this is made by a company called Laserlight, L-A-S-E-R-L-Y-T-E dot com. Laserlight.com. It's called the MBS-1, MBS-1, Universal Boresight, 22 caliber to 50 caliber. Um, it's quite a neat little uh, device here, guys. It gives you uh, instructions and so forth. I'm going to talk to you really about how to go ahead and use it, but it's really quite simple. Um, and it comes with the actual bore sighter itself, and uh, it has uh, your batteries, and you turn the uh, little dial here, and the laser comes on uh, here. There you go. You can see the laser comes on there. And then you stick this in the uh, end of your muzzle with the various caliber uh, ends on it. So, for instance, I just work with uh, some 762 by 39 so this is the 30 caliber, and you basically just screw it on the end of the bore sighter like that. And then you fit it in your barrel until it gets tight. If it's still a little loose, you pull it out, turn down on a little bit more, put it back in until it's a nice snug fit. And be careful with that. You don't really want to stick it in very hard because you might damage the crown of your barrel. So this is a really uh, smooth anodized aluminum, and it slides right in real nice. And then, of course, you go ahead and flip on your red dot, and you begin to sight the, uh, sight the rifle in, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But it comes with the actual bore sighter itself. It comes with batteries, and it also comes with four different ends going all the way up to 50 caliber and of course they also give you instructions in here so you have a dot four five three i'm uh, sorry dot four three five to a 50 caliber end then it drops down to a point three five zero to four three four caliber end then it goes to 280 to 349 this is the one that i use for 30 caliber and then it drops to 22 to 270 and the reason it goes in terms of a range on each one of these guys is as you screw this in to the end of your bore sighter and you screw it in more and more and more, you'll see the ends of this start to flare out and it gives you a larger diameter up to whatever the range says. So this one goes from 22 caliber, which is basically just barely screwed in there, all the way to 270 and it goes all the way up to, again, uh, roughly a 50 caliber, which would be the biggest one. So you get four of these little, what I will call, for lack of better terms here, knuckles on the end, and it comes with four screws of various sizes, and you thread the actual screw in the end here, and they also give you an Allen wrench to make that process easier. So you'll screw it all the way in, and then as you have need to sight in those size uh, weapons, you just screw it on the end and you fit it in your muzzle. Now, what they want you to do is they want you to sight it in at 25 yards. When you sight it in, this is a little target they give you. This is a daylight laser target. Uh, I just used it and I do have a little bit of a problem with it. But anyway, they want you to put this out to 25 yards. And then what they want you to do is they want the bore, they want the laser to be right in the middle of that circle on the target, guys. That's where you're going to put your laser. You're going to look through your red dot scope or your scope or even your iron sights. It doesn't really matter. But you want the laser right in the middle of that. And you want your red dot or the crosshairs of your scope. You'll adjust it up and down, windage and so forth, up and down until you get your crosshairs or your red dot directly in the middle of this along with your laser. Now, the problem I have with this, and maybe it's just my fault because it does say daylight laser target. I use this indoors, and it's a highly reflective surface. So when you blast this with your 
um, laser, it lights up on purpose. It gets very, very big. Basically, that entire circle is going to be covered. And it gets very bright. Well, that brightness, it was difficult to see my red dot. Okay, and I just have red dot scopes on all of my weapons. So um, you may want to be careful that. If you use it outdoors at 25 yards, it might not be an issue. But indoors, um, it was definitely an issue for me. So what I did, guys, is I got my red, dot, my red dot over here on the side of the target. And I basically used this as a grid. I put my dot over here. And then I put my red dot over there as well in the same spot, one on top of the other. And that seemed to work well for me. Now, I will say this. I don't have 25 yards inside of my house. 25 yards is approximately 10, I'm sorry, uh, 60, 75 feet roughly is 25 yards. My house isn't 75 feet long. But what you can do, and they talk, they tell you about this in the manual, is... Guys, these are one-inch increments from the center. So one-inch, two-inch, three-inch. If you have 10 yards inside your house, which you probably do, that's exactly 30 feet. If you have 10 yards in your house, and that's what I did. I taped this up to a wall, and 10 yards away, what you'll do is you'll put your red, your, excuse me, your laser will go right here in the center, and you want your red dot to be right about here on the junction of these two. So roughly two inches away, one inch, two inch, right here is where your red dot should be. So if you have your laser here in the middle of the dot like normal, and you sight in your red dot or your crosshairs to be right here, you are good out to 100 yards and 25 yards. You will sight your gun in for 25 yards and 100 yards. If you're 25 yards away, guys, when you sight right in the middle with red dot and laser, you're also good, obviously, at 25 yards and 100 yards. Now, this is not 100% exact science. You're not going to be hitting pinpoint bullseyes with this. The purpose of a tool like this, guys, is so you don't waste ammo. Ammo's not cheap. So if you just if you just slap a red dot or a scope on there and go out to the range and start shooting away, you might be missing the target completely and you don't really know which way I have to go, maybe you'll be lucky enough to see some dirt fly up or whatever. But the point is, what this is designed to do is to get you on target so you can fine-tune your adjustment um, and so forth. So it says sights and rifles saves time, and that's the big one. It saves you money because we're not wasting uh, ammunition. It says five-minute sight in process, two to three rounds at the range, fits 20, 22 through 50, Minimum of a three-inch barrel. Guys, you can also use this on your handguns as well. Okay, I've used this on my handgun. Okay, I, I put it in my Glock to see kind of how my iron sights line up, which is kind of cool. Now, it's really not designed for that, but you certainly can do it. And this uh, 50 caliber fit real nice in my 9 mil barrel. Okay, so that's what this is for. It is not for sighting in exact, but it's to get you out there. So, you know, two, three, four, five, you know, if you're real picky, five, six rounds, you can get it exactly where you want it to group. Now, I tested this, by the way. I've got uh, this gun right here. This is uh, one of my DPMS um, ARs, and this bad boy is sighted in beautifully at 100 yards. I can hit five, six, seven hundred yard target uh, steel targets with it, no problem. And I'm getting uh, one inch groups or less. I could get a lot less if I was a better shot. My eyes aren't great. But this gun right here, I knew was 100% perfect at 100 yards. And what I did is I put the bore sighter in this, put the target out there at 10 yards here in my basement, and I was exactly where they said I should be on this target. I was exactly, my red dot was really right on that crosshair, right there, exactly two minutes of angle above the uh, dot. So this definitely works, and I use this as a control mechanism to test the uh, validity of this sight. I'm extremely happy with it. I mean, you can go in and sight stuff quickly. That's what it's designed for. So again, guys, give it a shot. It's relatively inexpensive. I was given this product, thank, thankfully, from one of my uh, Twitter followers. 
But anyway, I looked it up. It's about a $48 to $50 little tool. An awesome thing to keep in your range bag. Um, you know, if you have to... By the way, they also... I forgot to tell you this. They also have a little chart here. So you can put your multiple firearms, the ammunition, and then elevation and windage. So if you ever have to remove your scope from one of your rails... You can put it back exactly where it's supposed to be, flip up this target real quick, know exactly where you hit, and you can sight it back in pretty quickly uh, as well. Now, I don't, take all, I don't take my scopes off, generally speaking, but that's what this is for. If you really want to get uh, granular with it or if you really want to keep accurate records, you certainly uh, can do that. That's a pretty cool little feature. But anyway, guys, I'm really happy with it. You know what? I would spend 40 50 bucks on this thing easily. Uh, because you go out there, you put a scope on your rifle, you spend 25, 30 minutes trying to get the thing sighted in, and then you only have an hour to shoot. This, boom, you're right on the line. You're shooting two, three, four rounds. Dial in exactly where you want it and have fun the rest of the day. Uh, this battery life is good, by the way. If you leave this thing on, the battery life is good for, they say, one and a half hours continuous use time. So I don't know how I'm going to store it just yet. I may just take the batteries out of it because I don't assume I'm going to be using this a whole lot. Um, but anyway, man, in a pinch, this is something that uh, I highly recommend. It gets uh, absolutely, based on my test with my accurate rifle, that not accurate, but the rifle that was zeroed in, it gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, it gets, you know, uh, obviously a 10 out of 10 for cost. I didn't pay for it, but even if I did, it would get a 10 out of 10. In terms of construction, it is very, very solid. It's a little wonky in here to twist this and turn the actual laser on itself and to turn it off. I notice sometimes when I lay it down, the laser will come on. So I won't give it a 10 out of 10 for that. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Uh, in terms of fitment and fitability, if that's a word, fitment or fitability, um, I give it a strong 9 out of 10. So overall, I love it and I'm going to continue to use it um, and so forth. Hey guys, this is a short one. This has been Tim from God, Guns, and Good Times. Hey everybody, don't forget, God bless this country we live in. Pray about this country every day. We need the support of the Lord above to keep this country on track. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day.